This is Wrestling's Greatest Moments. Hey now, wrestling fans. It's time for another episode of Wrestling's Greatest Moments, Who's That Wrestler? Where we provide five clues and you have to guess the wrestler's identity. The less clues you need to get the answer, the better your score. Before we get started, though, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Here are the rules. You have five clues to guess each wrestler's identity, that is, the wrestling name they're best known by. If you answer the question with the first clue, you earn five points. If you answer the question by the second clue, you get four points, and so on, with the fifth and last clue being worth one point. If you don't answer the question within five clues, you get a whole lot of nothing. Dare to play the wild card? If you're willing to take a risk, consider playing our wild card question. We'll give you the subject. The question could be easy, medium, or hard. You won't know until you play it. It's a multiple choice question, or as we used to say in school, a multiple guess. Answer it right, and you add five points to your score. Answer it wrong, and you deduct five points. Keep in mind, the wild card is optional. Here's an example. Category, the Road Warriors. Your difficulty is easy. Lucky you. Here's a question. Which of these tag team titles weren't held by the Road Warriors? 1. The AWA World Tag Team Championship. 2. The WWF Tag Team Championship. 3. The ECW Tag Team Championship. Or 4. The NWA World Tag Team Championship. The correct answer is 3. The ECW World Tag Team Championship. Question 1. Easy. Clue number 1. This wrestler was born in Goldsboro, North Carolina on February 14, 1971. This wrestler's incredible height and weight made him a monster heel. He teamed with his kayfabe brother as the Harlem Knights, including a run in the USWA, United States Wrestling Association. Clue number two. This wrestler began competing in the WWF in 1993. As part of the group Men on a Mission, the former Harlem Knights were now managed by Oscar, a rapper who accompanied them to the ring. Clue number three. This wrestler captured the WWF Tag Team Championship. While a member of Men on a Mission, the duo defeated the Quebecers for the belts in London, England, dropping them back to the Quebecers two days later. Clue number four. This wrestler won the 1995 WWF King of the Ring Tournament and turned heel, feuding with The Undertaker and Diesel. Clue number five. This wrestler joined the Ministry of Darkness. This wrestler later competed as Big Daddy V. Who's that wrestler? Who is Mabel, a.k.a. Viscera, a.k.a. Big Daddy V? Question 2. Easy. Clue number 1. This wrestler was born on January 29th, 1963, in Mobile, Alabama. He trained with Bob Sweeten and Rip Tyler while also training to become a welder. Clue number two. This wrestler entered the WWF in 1994 with a gimmick of a race car driver. Clue number three. This wrestler suffered a broken neck when he wrestled Brock Lesnar in 2002, resulting in him missing over a year of wrestling. Clue number four. At one point, this wrestler worked alongside a kayfabe family that included cousins Molly and Crash. Clue number five. This wrestler's nickname is Hardcore. Who's that wrestler? Who is Bob Holly, a.k.a. Hardcore Holly? Question three. Medium. Clue number one. This wrestler was born on January 10th, 1970 in Marietta, Georgia. This wrestler trained as a massage therapist and also boxed before his wrestling debut around 1991. Clue number two. 
This wrestler debuted in the Global Wrestling Federation in 1991 as the Handsome Stranger. This wrestler's good looks and physique would be a major part of his draw, whether he worked as a babyface or a heel. For example, he worked alongside Scotty Riggs as part of the American Males. Clue number three. This wrestler competed in WCW from 1991 until 2001 and held the WCW Tag Team Championship five times, including two reigns with the Patriot as the team Stars and Stripes. Clue number four. This wrestler's mother was involved in a match where she was placed on a forklift and this wrestler had to defeat Canyon to free her. Clue number five. At one point in his career, this wrestler would boast that he's buff and he's got the stuff. Who's that wrestler? Who is Marcus Alexander Bagwell, a.k.a. Buff Bagwell? Question four. Medium. Clue number one. This wrestler was born on February 10th, 1971, in San Bernardino, California. She broke into fitness competitions and bodybuilding. This wrestler became friends with Tori Wilson, who started this wrestler's path into the ring. Clue number two. This wrestler trained in the Ultimate Pro Wrestling School, and by 2001, she was working in Ohio Valley Wrestling. She debuted on the WWE main roster in 2002. She defeated Trish Stratus for the WWE Women's Championship at 2002's Survivor Series. Clue number three. This wrestler held the WWE Women's Championship twice. She defeated Molly Holly at WrestleMania 20 in a title versus hair match, which resulted in Molly losing her hair. Clue number four. This wrestler left the WWE in 2009 and began competing in TNA Wrestling. There, she became an important part of its Knockouts division, holding the Knockouts Championship five times and the Knockouts Tag Team Championship once. Clue number five. This wrestler used the Widow's Peak as her finisher. This wrestler competed at the 2021 Women's Royal Rumble. Who's that wrestler? Who is Victoria, a.k.a. Tara? Question five. Hard. Clue number one. This wrestler was born in Dayton, Tennessee on January 15, 1930. A free YMCA membership he received when he was a paper boy led to him becoming interested in wrestling. He wrestled his first pro match in 1947, and was paid with a turkey. Clue number two. This wrestler worked in the South early on in his career, competing as Buddy Rogers' kayfabe brother, Rip. Clue number three. This wrestler was blind in one eye. Some of his top feuds as a babyface were against Boris Malenko and Bob Orton Sr. Clue number four. This wrestler teamed with his kayfabe brother, Jerry, in Capital Wrestling. There, the two became the area's top heel team for over two years. Clue number five. This wrestler was heavily associated with championship wrestling from Florida from the 1960s and onward. Who's that wrestler? Who is Eddie Graham? Question six. Hard. Clue number one. This wrestler was born on April 29th, 1931. A second generation grappler, his father was a successful wrestler and trained him to become a wrestler. This wrestler began competing in San Francisco after being discharged from the Navy. Clue number two. This wrestler appeared in several Our Gang episodes as a child actor in minor roles and also in the film Paradise Alley as an adult. He also appeared in a Wheaties commercial. This wrestler also attended to his father's defang rattlesnake, Cold Chills, and the snake would inevitably appear during his father's matches. Clue number three. This wrestler was an imposing figure, standing six foot six inches and weighing 320 pounds. 
Although known for many successful campaigns in Canada, this wrestler also competed in the United States as well as in Australia, Europe, and Japan. He held the IWA World Tag Team Championship and Australia's World Championship Wrestling two times with Antonio Pugluese, just one of many titles this wrestler would win. Clue number four. This wrestler often teamed with Killer Kowalski and inevitably feuded with him. The two would recreate this angle throughout the wrestling world. Clue number five. This wrestler was known for participating in Grand Prix Wrestling's Battle of the Giants against Jean Fair. Who's that wrestler? Who is Don Leo Jonathan? Question seven. Ridiculous. Clue number one. This wrestler was born on January 11th, 1921 in Ray, Arizona. He spent some of his early years in Mexico and joined a gym in Guadalajara, which led to him becoming a luchador. Clue number two, trained by Diablo Velasco and El Indio Mejija, he began competing in Lucha Libre around 1937, working as Joe Morgan early in his career. Clue number three, this wrestler worked as a heel in Lucha Libre and combined brawling with technical wrestling. In 1943, he entered the promotion EMLL, earning its Rookie of the Year award despite having wrestled for several years. Clue number four. This wrestler teamed with El Santo in the late 1940s to form the team The Atomic Pair. Clue number five. This wrestler is credited with creating the submission hold, The Camel Clutch. Who's that wrestler? Who is Gory Guerrero? Dare to play the wild card? Remember, the wild card is optional. This week's wild card category, WrestleMania 1, 1985. Difficulty, easy. Which of these WWF titles was not defended at the first WrestleMania? 1. WWF Women's Championship 2. Intercontinental Championship 3. WWF Championship 4. WWF Tag Team Championship The correct answer is three, WWF Championship. WWF Champion Hulk Hogan competed in the main event at WrestleMania alongside Mr. T when they faced Rowdy Roddy Piper and Paul Mr. Wonderful Orndorff. The WWF Championship was not on the line. Time to add up your score. Let's have the coach tell you how you did. Coach? How'd you do? No points. You set up the ring. While you're at it, sweep up the gym. One to five points. You're a wrestling school student. Six to ten points. You're a local talent. Or what I like to call a bum. Eleven to fifteen points. You're a job to the stars. Sixteen to twenty points. You're a mid card talent. 21 to 25 points, you're an upper card talent. 26 to 30 points, you're a main eventer. 31 to 34 points, you're the undisputed world champion. 35 points, you're a living legend. While you're at it, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Wrestling's Greatest Moments, the channel that celebrates the squared circle.